the man, the myth, the legend, Paul Mariner is back, and it would be only <laughs> right to put him into our transfer rate today. Maris, we've got a couple of interesting ones yes. to tackle. Let's start off with this one. Hudson Odoi, a lot of talk about him. He's been linked with a move to Bayern Munich, but now Liverpool seem to be interested. Hit or miss for you? Well, I, I wish I was this kid because, as you say, he's in, Who su doesn't want it? in such demand. I mean, and look at the clubs who are interested in him. I mean, all Chelsea fans are saying, please sign, please we sign for us. But he's at a stage in his career where he wants, you know, playing time. he wants to play. Now then, would he get playing time at Dortmund? Maybe, maybe not. Would he get to Bayern? Play? Yeah, exactly. Or, or Bayern. Well, Bayern he probably would because he's getting a little bit aged. For, for playing time, I'm going to say yes. Get yourself moving. Chelsea fans won't be too happy about it. <laughs> All right, Rabio now definitely unsettled at PSG, looking for a move elsewhere. Would Spurs suit him? Yes, I, I, li I like this lad a lot. I, I think I, I agree with you, Lex. I think they they do need to keep him, but I don't think they, they can keep him. Will keep him. I think there'll be other suitors as well. Um, I think he's already made his mind up that he wants to leave PSG. Um, so I say for him, yep, it's going to happen. And Renato Sanchez to PSG now. I think this is the biggest waste of money. Uh, I just cannot see it. Uh, he, he was but absolutely. But PSG let go, Rabio. They're going to need I, some midfield but reinforcement. He's not a PSG level player. I mean, he, he came over at Swansea. He was absolutely atrocious. He hasn't pulled any trees up, you know, by Munich recently. So, for me, listen, I, when I saw him playing and before he went to Swansea, I thought he was going to be a great player, top, yeah. top player. But I didn't see it. I'm sorry, no, no, not for me. I'm Speaking of midfield options, Again, now Philippe we did, Coutinho. We're always doing this. <laughs> we're always doing this. Philippe Coutinho to leave Barcelona because they have signed a certain Frankie de Jong. It seems like they're going to need some money to fill that right. that they spent. And he wants I, playing time. I think they're different players. Uh, um, I, look, well, since we started to talk about this for the last few weeks, he's been playing, I, I think, fairly well. Um, I think he's a Barca player. I think he, he fits the, the bill. Great for Brazil. I, I like him. I say, I say no. I say stay where you are, mate. No. What about Eric Bailly at Manchester United? Well, Something doesn't seem quite no. settled there. So would a move away from Old Trafford suit him? Well, as a defender, he's a little bit erratic. Let's put it. Let's be kind to him. Um, uh, you know, he's not the answer that Manchester United want. They absolutely do have to um, recruit uh, new players in that position. I think it's better for him and better for United that he goes. I think it'll serve everybody well. He's actually been linked with your lot at Arsenal. Would you take him, yes or no? No. No. All right, well, no. there we go. Paul Mariner says he can definitely leave Manchester United. Good move, but just not to the Gunners. <laughs>